5 to the power of x plus 1 plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 150. So at this point, we can apply the law of indices here. So we have that this is 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 1, which is still equal to 5, plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 150. Now at this point, we can factor out 5 to the power of x. So we have that 5 to the power of x, open your bracket, 5 plus 1 equal to 150. So 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have that 5 to the power of x multiplied by 6 is equal to 150. So at this point, we can divide both sides by 6. So here divide by 6 and here divide by 6. 6 can cancel out this here. So we have that 5 to the power of x is equal to 25. But then, at the left hand side, we have a base of 5. Now, at the right hand side, we have 25. Can we express 25 in the powers of base 5? Yes, because 5 squared is equal to 25. So we have that 5 squared is 25. So therefore, we have that 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 2. So since their bases are the same, we have to equate their index. So therefore, x is equal to 2. Thank you so much for watching. And if you know you found it helpful, please encourage us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.